I would imagine, like with next week, the new um, the new patch comes out. It's a very sensible time to start the uh, start the testing for the next one. Um, as well, with a bunch of that campaign stuff being available for players, I think Blizzard will feel a bit more okay than putting 10-2 on because they don't want to like mess up or ruin their old game. Uh, now, speaking of messing things up and ruining them, let's spoil the next expansion for everyone, Matt, <laughs> with the new Seafarer pack. Blizzard did it. We did this. Blizzard did it. Now, now, you may think, what are you boys smoking? This is just a thing in the store. Well, do you remember... Um, do you remember? Do we have it in our document? Yes. I'm actually... I'm, uh, you I'm might want to, to tell me what it is and then I'll I'm, answer you. I'm going to bring this up to the very top of the document because I think this should color everyone's perception of everything I'm about to say. So we're actually, in this court case, we're going to look at Exhibit 3 first. Don't worry about why. This is the Dragon Pack. The Dragon Pack. A pack of dragons. This was first made available between December 12th and January 3rd, 2022. And then again, uh, later that year, between October 18th and 31st. Dragonfly was officially announced April 19th, 2022. So the original release of the Dragon Pack was actually before the expansion was announced. While this, you know, this pack came out, everyone was speculating about, like, dragons whenever this came out. So that's, like, one little thing. Um, now we have the Seafarer pack. And you think about the game storyline right now. Why on earth would they draw our attention to the sea? It doesn't really tie into anything in Dragonflight. It does, actually. Oh. I'll tell you why. Well, well I mean, the, the Forbidden Reach, it's some yeah, sea so stuff. It ties into technically three things. Okay. Number one, the pirates that showed up yep. on the pirates Forbidden, Forbidden Reach. Reach. Two... The Naga stuff that showed up in the Forbidden Reach. Yep. So there you go. You've got things that go underwater and things that go on the water. Pretty watery. But this is the real one. Three is, well, Dragonflight. Why is it not, you know, land, sky, and sea? Got land sorted in Shadowlands. Got Dragonflight. Flight sorted. You're fucking mad. Now we've got something sea. And it's done. Land, sky, and sea. Shadowlands, Dragonflight, and then something with the water. It's... So... It's how it is. I think that you're right. And I definitely don't think it's because of any of your reasoning. <laughs> I, I... I mean... So... There are actually know. other exhibits here. Other hard evidence. Yeah, this is, is this some sort of, like, university exam where I have to show my working? Can I not just have the right answer and be like, done? Sorted? It's how the real world works, Michael. You just need the right answer. It doesn't matter how you got there. Stack right? overflow. <laughs> so this pack has the Dreadwake, which was uh, part of a six-month bundle celebrating the Battle for Azeroth was later added to the store. Uh, basically, this is all quite BFA things. Now, uh, this is stuff that, I, you know, I need it, it needs to be seen in context of other recent sea-themed things. Here is the Wondrous Wave Whisker. Once hunted nearly to extinction, they were carefully cultivated by the Ancoan who revere them to this day. The Ancoan are these kind of like shredded-looking sort of Naga-like water dudes that we saw when we went to Najatar. Obviously, this is sea-related, and... Uh, you know, there's many thinking, oh, hmm, Stormout, next expansion, something that has continually happened. This has not been seen anywhere in the game before. So like with the Fae Dragon, like with Sylvarian Dreamer, we have these things, they hit the store, we don't know where they come from. Then the new expansion comes out and we say, ah, that's where it came from. <laughs> they just grabbed that asset and sold it now. Uh, we've get, then got the Waveborn Diplomats for Gelia, which, uh, yes, look like a fancy... Uh, fancy diplomat with some comically puffy shoulders on the human male scaling. So you've got that. Then there's also the Solemn Watchman's Garb, which to me feels a little bit like... Oh, it, it, it can fit in, I, I think, with the Waveborn Diplomats regalia. Just about, but it's mostly because it looks like BFA gear. Yeah, yeah. So we've got all this stuff. I mean, even the Solemn Watchman's Garb, people just kind of thought like, hey... If you just grab green leveling gear from the next expansion and put it in the store. Uh, so we've got all these things, right? Water related. And then we've got Horde and Alliance ships. There are new Horde and Alliance ships. Um, there are new, uh, those are airships. There are new Night Elf and Blood Elf boats. 
that uh, that look gorgeous, by the way. And it's like, bro, why'd you why'd you make a new boat? Why, why did you make a new boat? We haven't used this in the game. I mean, especially man, that blood elf boat looks. I even remember, like, you're, you're playing the Burning Crusade for the first time as an Alliance character. You finally get to the Isle of Keldenas. You see all this Blood Elf shit, and it looks so cool. Uh, so that looks fantastic. We have Alliance uh, base building assets huh? as well as huh? Horde huh? base building. Huh? Hang on one quick little second, Michael. A quick little second, oh dear. Yeah. Do you notice anything notably different between these two ships? Which two ships? The the Horde ship here. And the Alliance ship here. Sorry. The Blood, the blood Elf ship here. Head off ship here. Notice um, anything different? Well, there's a very large horde symbol. Yes. And there is not one in the and night elf. And there's no one. horde symbol in the night elf one. Yes. Funny that. <laughs> there you go. The night elves <laughs> aren't in the horde. <laughs> well done. <laughs> We've got this. So, I mean, an alliance symbol doesn't look like it would look particularly good there or fit. Mm -hmm. So it could just be an artistic choice. But it is pretty interesting that the blood elves are like, yo, live and die for the horde, motherfuckers. Well, the horde are way more united now. Yeah. The, the Alliance actually are the faction that are, are potentially less. Like, there's still going to be lingering things to the Night Elves. One of those things, remember, like, Toronto and co, like, stormed off, didn't listen to Anduin, and that's what yep. led to patch 8.1. And in a way, like, they were right, too, because Anduin was, let's be real, a pretty shit king. Not the best. Like, Not Anduin, best. like, yeah, people like him as a character, but... Um, I don't know. I, I think not, not a particularly... You know, he's no... Well, except he's, for the he's fact... He's no great statesman. Uh, you, you, you're forgetting the fact he solved all of Westfall's issues off camera. Never mind. He did solve all of Westfall's <laughs> issues yeah, off he's camera. Just, he fixed the Defias like his dad couldn't do. Done. Um, there's also some Horde-based building assets, um, some of which are uh, seemingly like Zeppelin uh, terminals. Mm. So Ooh. all kind of interesting. Uh, so... Final Fantasy XIV Dawn Trail. Yeah. Where we are going to... Uh, is it like sort of Pacific Islands inspired? Yep. Okay. So we're going to the Pacific Islands then. Everywhere. In every MMO. Yep. Shadowlands. <laughs> Shadowbringer. Mm -hmm. There you go. My case is... Right. Yeah, your case <laughs> pretty, is... Pretty over. weak case. Um, but there, you know, there are many things. Um, and it's kind of weird because I don't want to have to like sit here and just rack it off like five different lore videos. But I also don't want to say... <laughs> go do research on our channel. Go do research on our channel. But no, basically, right. We have uh, the Night Squall, Pirate Fleet. We have uh, hard confirmation that Kalimdor was not the only continent on Azeroth. Um, there's the, like, say, Plunder Isle, also known as Hiji. The, fo the thought is that Hiji, or at least originally per, was it Lands of Mystery? Uh, per the old RPG books, Hiji was like the, uh, or at least people think, it's called Plunder Isle by the pirates, but its original name was Hiji. Yeah, it's because That's the player speculation. You've got it here where Plunder Isle is on this map. Hiji was there on yeah. the on original concept maps for Warcraft. But then as soon as anything official came out, it was Plunder Isle and the RPG and stuff like that. So you've got, uh, you know, you, you've got, a mock -up like. you got Kazan, you've got uh, Undermine. Uh, oh, yes, yes, I saw this, uh, this, this mock-up yeah. that, uh, that somebody made. So... A lot of people then are thinking this kind of makes sense. And as a gateway to going to the other side of Azeroth, uh, as a gateway to a lot of other things, you could actually see how it all, uh, you know, could actually make a degree of sense. This was most recently capitalized on the subject of tomorrow's uh, main channel video. Is it tomorrow's? Tomorrow, well, tomorrow's, tomorrow's Sunday. Saturday, so probably. Yeah. Um, on a void storm, where apparently a shower returns and puts a void storm over the planet, um, which were basically just the... Uh, you know, way Riddicron walked through that portal, Zalatath was there, they would basically start the next expansion together. Which seems reasonable. And it could take us to here, which also seems reasonable. I mean, even Plunder Isle, um, per the uh, per the role-playing game source books, the Blood Sails, and of course, you've met the Blood Sails if you're a rogue with Fleet Admiral Tethys, who was a very Hyar pirate uh, character that actually I think everybody liked. Uh, but their actual leader has always been a mysterious thing. Per the RPG, it's an ex on human supremacist noble. Called Duke Falrevere. Falrevere, he yes. Here in Blood Seal Hold, which is, according to this, is from the RPG, and it's close to Den of the Cold Eye, whatever that is. So it's all just stuff they sort of made up. But you look at Zandalar, and look, there's Zoltazar. That was real. Yeah. That turned real. A lot of this stuff kind of turned roughly real with the Shells of Raz, Suramar Ruins, obviously moving down here. You know, Kazan turned into real stuff, largely. Talabane. 
Yeah. So you're like, oh, Taliban is in the shadow of this giant map that no one seems to notice. <laughs> <Trolling about Phineas. laughs> um, yeah. So uh, all this stuff, I think, uh, to me, actually does make sense. And uh, yeah, I, I, I believe it. We don't exa- exactly know what it will be. And I'm not saying that the Void Storm leak is real because the Void Storm leak is also like, I mean, more likely than not, is just informed speculation using all of the things that we've talked about here to create something that sounds believable. But that's the point. With all of these hints, there's lots of things that sound believable, but nautical, South Seas, pirates, Naga, Naga being tied to Ashara, that being tied to the prophecy stuff and the Forbidden Reach, it all does like it passes muster. So that's basically that. I have one question, though. Oh. And this is an important question. It's definitely in no way inspired by people talking about it on Twitter all day the past couple days. Would anyone come back for a pirate expansion? No. Then why are they doing one? Shut up! <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Get out of here! Bullshit! Yeah. Uh, Jim... Did you imagine that real? No, this is the Plunder Isle map here. Is like a mock-up. I not it's not credited here. Usually, Doctor does that, but I'm sure. It's someone would like people? Um, would I mean the thing that people would come back for is a big Matson. Yeah, exactly. and if you you know if you don't know what a big Matson is, a big Matson is the Wrath of the Lich King cinematic. The <laughs> I mean, it's just, it's all the things that are big, cool, and you don't think about them too much. They're just cool. You want to go there. So this whole void storm thing, the, 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 the thing that makes void storm, uh, to me almost feel like, oh yeah, I could see that. Actually, let's just do the void storm segment now. Yeah. So, Cause I was, tra- what I was trying to lead in was there was who gives a shit about a pirate expansion. I feel like if they go, it's pirates, it's remember those pirates from, Remember the, the, did you get the insane title? Remember those good vibes, everyone. Those were great. Remember the iron tide? Everyone goes, no. Remember the blood sale? Everyone goes, no. Remember the uh, the rest of them, the free bidders? Everyone goes, no. Oh, well, I did do freehold. Is this, am I doing freehold again? Is this battle for Azeroth again? Yeah. No. No. <laughs> no, it's not. It's not. It, we'll introduce, we'll introduce the void in an old god in the shower. You're like, that is BFA again. <laughs> but realistically, it's the actual question of, that's not going to be cool. They might have heavy theming, but they're not going to try and kick your door and go, it's pirates, everyone, come play. Because that would be dumb. Yeah, yeah. Metzen's not going to walk onto stage with a goofy hat and a fake pirate hook and go, yeah, I'm back, mateys. He's not going to do that. He's going to have something. There's going to be a big thing. And the pirates and everything is going to be wrapped up in that. Because in this case, it's not just, ooh, pirates, let's have a pirate adventure. No, it is pirates more in the sense of, like, fucking Euron Greyjoy or something like that. This is pirates in the sense of the Night Squall, some legendary person is putting together a fleet, the biggest ever seen, to go and do something crazy the other side of the world. So that's not just fiddle dd you know, uh, Pirates of the Caribbean, the ride. It's not that. Um, but what you need is some crazy shit to happen in a cinematic because ultimately that gets people in, right? That's how it works. Uh, look at the WAD cinema. Oh, God, I have to talk about the WoW. It's almost a rule every stream. I've got to mention the WAD cinematic for being cool. But anyway, uh, this to me passes muster because Void Storm actually sounds like it's a thing they could do. Exactly. On the screen. That, you know, so people are not thinking about the, you know, the oh, pirates. Ooh. The thing that would be the challenge is the content would have to reflect <laughs> the cinematic and what it is selling. Wow. So if they do, I know, crazy thing, but it's not what they've done a good job of. In fairness, Dragonflight had a toothless, happy, 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 good feel cinematic, and that is largely what the game is. But what this needs to be is badass and menacing and more of the content in the game needs to feel badass and menacing because people in the blizzard marketing department you need to have a picture of asmongold up in your wall and you need to remember mmo gamers will buy this yes people who you know people on twitter i follow them you follow them we probably all share lots of opinions in common with each other so yes we maybe will be like oh look at that story that's that's really heart you know heartfelt and lovely and whatever no, you need you need the guys out to the mass gamers. 
You know, you, you may hate mass gamers. You may in your company Slack call them gamers TM or whatever. Or just be like, oh, is that a gamer on Twitch? Pfft, terrible. Probably an awful human who uses green frogs. <laughs> I, I, I'm totally straw matting them for no reason. Um, I suppose I'm, I'm trying to build up the, like, you know, the absurd, uh, you know, version that's all just like, everything's ought to be cuddly and nice, uh, right? But, you know, you, you do have to remember, like, that's not what built the franchise. So that's why Void Storm is, you know, if it is Void Storm, right? It's like you gotta have that crazy big thing on screen, your cinematic, but you also have got to have the content matching up. Because if people are brought in by Void Storm and then you have joke pirates and loads of cuddly stories, that's not going to feel like Void Storm. Mm -hmm. It's a bit like, you know, in Legion, you have to have a bunch of metal shit. Because if it's called Legion and it's not full of metal shit, won't feel right.